What's up guys? Chances are if you've bought a Nintendo console in the last five years, you probably have a couple of these guys laying around. Some Wii Motes, maybe a Wii U Pro Controller, maybe a Wii Classic Controller, and they might be gathering a little bit of dust and you thought, I wish I could get a little bit more use out of these things. So I'm going to show you my absolute favorite program for changing these controllers into Xbox controllers so that you can use them on your Windows PC to control any program. Okay guys, so the first step in getting your Wii controllers to be working on your PC as Xbox controllers is head over to the link in the description and download WinUsoft. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once it's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open it and run through the installer. I'm going to hit open. So click next. Go ahead and install all of this. If you have Windows 10, you don't need the Xbox 360 controller driver, but I have installed it on Windows 10. It doesn't cause any problems if for some reason you think you're lacking it. But I'm going to go ahead and unclick it and just install WinUsoft and the Scarlet Crush production driver. Go ahead, click next. Hit next one more time. Next, and then install. should be a fairly quick installation now you're gonna have this SCP Bluetooth driver pop up go ahead and just click install I've been told you don't need to install this Bluetooth driver but I've never had a problem doing it before so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it if it asks you to trust this dude go ahead and trust him <laughs> and install completed so we're going to hit exit on this and we should be done now go ahead and launch when you soft and i'll show you how to set it up using a wiimote and a nunchuck as well as a when you a wii u pro controller here's the readme if you want to read that real quick here's the controllers that are all supported the Wii U Pro, Nintendo Wiimote, the Nunchuck, the Classic Controller, and the Classic Controller Pro. And it also supports some third-party Nintendo controllers. So that's pretty cool. Here's what it looks like. It's fairly simple. What's great about this latest update to 3.1 is that it has a built-in sync button for the Microsoft Bluetooth stack. So it works so much easier. And instead of having to repair and re completely reconnect your Wiimotes and Wii controllers every time you want to use them, you can just press 1 and 2 on the controllers and they'll automatically resync to WinUsoft. It's so awesome and it made makes my life so easy. Here is my Wii U Pro Controller. And I also have a Wiimote. So first off, I will try to connect the Wii U Pro Controller. Go ahead and click the leftmost button at the top here, the sync button. It'll open up a little, its own little Bluetooth device uh, sync thing here. And we're going to go ahead and push this red button on the back that says sync. So the light should start flashing on the controller. When you soft has found it, it's going to start setting it up automatically. Now, it looks like it's already in the program, but just wait a second. It'll add to a device has popped up down here, and after this, something else is going to pop up. So I'm going to try to click identify. There we go. So I clicked identify, and the controller shook, and it put a light onto one. So now the controller's set up. We're almost ready to go. Now all we have to do is click this, this Xbox button, and this will turn it into an X input device, basically making it an Xbox 360 controller. So I'm going to set it as controller number one. And there we go. So now this will work in any game that normally an Xbox 360 controller would work in. It'll work for input redirection client to control your Nintendo 3DS over the Wi-Fi because input redirection client um, accepts X input um, commands natively. And now that this is basically an Xbox 360 controller, it'll be sending out X inputs. 
You can also do some pretty cool stuff like open up GlovePy and set up an X input to mouse control and maybe use your right control stick to control your mouse. We'll connect the Wiimote as well just to show that you, that you can. I'm going to push the sync button on the back. The blue lights are flashing. Go ahead and open up sync again. And when you saw should find the controller, it did. It's now setting it up automatically. And there we go. We've got ourselves a Wiimote. So now we have both a Wiimote and a Wii U Pro controller hooked up as Xbox controllers. So now we could go play some two-player games. I could also hook up the nunchuck and it'll automatically be detected by WinUsoft. So I'm going to plug the nunchuck into the Wiimote and there it goes. Automatically found. So now you have two more buttons and a control stick. If you want to change any setups here, it'll automatically route the buttons for you. It'll automatically swap the A and the B buttons here because B and A are swapped on Xbox 360 controllers so we can go here and it's very fairly simple to set everything up you click the left side so the controller that you currently have so say I want to change the left stick I choose left in that direction and you can see it's set as the left stick on the Xbox controller but I could set it to the left stick on this one and say I wanted to change the A button to the X button. I can do that. And then you can hit save and it'll save that as a profile. So we could hit save. Pro controller profile and you could hit save on that. And then apply. And now that controller has its own profile. And if you click properties here, you can change it so that if it auto connects, you can auto connect it as the first controller. So every time the WinUsoft uh, senses the Pro controller, it'll connect it automatically as the first Xbox controller. And you can change the default profile to the one we just created. So if you always play the same game and you always like a specific profile, you can go ahead and load that and when you connect it, it'll automatically connect. So go ahead and hit save. And there's how you create an Xbox 360 controller out of this beautiful Wii U Pro Controller. I absolutely love these controllers. You can switch things around for the Wiimote too. The Wiimote now has infrared capabilities, so if you have a wireless sensor bar or if you turn on your Wii while looking at the sensor or while have this sensor underneath your monitor, then you can use that to map controls. So you can map moving the Wiimote to the right, something like this. You could map that to the right control stick and then in games you could essentially say that was your camera control you could move this to the right to control your camera you know you could move it to the left you could move it up and down see so I could click this and change it to up so that moving the the infrared sensor the pointer up it would register as up on the right control stick of an Xbox controller and again, you can do that save and all that stuff. You can also do uh, changing. So if you had like a, a pitch change, so you could tilt this up to do something, tilt it forward to do something, you know. Um, you could route it to be a gear shifter in a racing game. You could tilt it sideways to give you extra left and right controls. Maybe you're flying something. Lots of, uh, lots of options. Okay guys, so here's how you disconnect the controllers. You go over to WinUsoft here, hit detach, and now hold the power button, and the light should shut off. There we go. Now if we try to ID this remote, it should disappear, and it has. Now what we wanna do is, if you want to reconnect it, it's super simple. All you have to do is hold down one and two on the Wiimote. So we're holding down one and two, and when you pro should honestly automatically find it in just a second here. I'm gonna to try to refresh device list, and there we go. There it is, and I'm gonna to try to click ID. There it vibrated, so it's already connected again, ready to be or ready to be turned into an Xbox controller. Okay, guys, now I've got my little NES controller. 
Gonna go ahead and rock out some Super Mario Bros. So we've got pretty pretty good response here. Left, right, run, jump. Let's see what happens. Oh, right in the... Are you joking? Are you joking? No stopping them. Ain't no stopping them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you are now using your Wiimotes or your Wii U Pro controllers or classic controllers that you have lying around to play PC games. You could also use this to play pretty much any emulator. If you wanted, you could use a Pro controller to play Dolphin and play some GameCube or Wii games. That would be pretty darn cool. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. If you have any requests, Go down to the comments and put down a request and maybe I'll make a video out of it.